Hi there, I have created Pac-Man game just using our plot without a single line of code. First I'll show you the gameplay and after that how I have created this game. And by the way feel free to download this game for absolutely free, all of the information is in the video description. And if you're enjoying this video please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much. And if you have never heard about Pac-Man, here is a short intro. Pac-Man is a maze a video game developed and released by a company called Namco in 1980. A player controls a yellow circle that is eating up the dots. The objective of the game is to eat all of the dots while avoiding the ghosts. And the objective of my game is a bit different, we'll have to rescue the Pac-Man. As you can see the Pac-Man is trapped inside the cage, there is a laser that blocks the exit. And to deactivate the laser we'll have to collect all of the dots, and for that we'll be using the mouse. At the same time we'll have to avoid ghosts and don't touch the walls. And now let's play the game and let's see how it goes, wish me good luck. Oh no, those ghosts got me. Okay, let's play again. Nice, I have collected the last point, and now the laser is deactivated, and now I can access the Pac-Man cage, I can click on him, and hooray, we have rescued the Pac-Man. Congratulations, mission successful. Alright, my dear time travelers, now let me show you how I have created this game. So first of all, I have created a square grid, which is the foundation for my game map. And this grid is made out of 29 squares in width and 30 squares in height. And each square has a width and height of 0.64 cm. And once I had my square grid ready, I started outlining the map walls. As you can see, some of these rectangles have this semi-transparent white fill, and this is just to indicate that these squares are going to be the walls of the game. And by the way, you can easily copy the formatting of one square and apply it to any other square by using the shortcuts Ctrl Shift C, Ctrl Shift V. This really helps to speed up the process when outlining your walls. And next I have added some rounded corners to my map walls, just to make them a little bit more rounded. And to achieve this rounded look, I have inserted a bunch of rounded rectangles and made sure that these rounded rectangles fit nicely into those outlines that I have created previously. And once I have inserted all of those uh, rounded rectangles and I have filled all of the walls, I made sure that I select all of those rounded rectangles and then I went to merge shapes and chose union so that all of these rounded rectangles become one single shape. This way it will be much easier to work. So first we will change the look of the walls and later on we'll add a mouse over action to those walls. And now in this slide we have one solid shape with all of the walls that we need. If we would go to the edit points mode, we would see all of the points that make up the walls. And now that we have all of these walls as a single shape, it's really easy to customize them. And I have decided to go with this pattern fill for the foreground color, I have black. And for the background, I'm using this shade of blue. And next I have inserted a bunch of dots, and these are basically just uh, simple circles. You can insert as many dots as you wish. Just keep in mind that you'll have to collect all of those dots, so don't make it too hard on yourself. 
Okay, next I have created all the characters that we need for our game. So we have four of ghosts and we have two faces of Pac-Man. So one is sad and one is uh, happy. But so we rescue the Pac-Man. And since all of these characters were made in part one, it's really easy to customize them. That's nice. Now let me show you how you can really easily and quickly create one of those ghosts with simple shapes and merge shape functions in PowerPoint. And by the way, I recommend exporting or saving all of your illustrations as SVG or PNG pictures because this way it will be much easier to animate all of these illustrations and to add mouse over actions. Because PowerPoint doesn't allow adding actions to groups of elements and that's why it's useful to save your illustration as SVG. Just copy your illustration, go to Paste Special and choose PNG or SVG if you have it. And click OK, and now you'll have your illustration as SVG, and now you'll be able to insert mouse or actions. Nice. And now let's talk about the wall and ghost touching. So if you would touch the game walls, or if you would touch any ghost, you will lose. And to make that happen, let's make sure that the wall is selected. Let's go to actions, let's choose mouse over. And now let's link it to the slide number 2, which is our game over slide, okay? So now if the mouse would touch any part of the wall, we should transition to slide number 2, which is the over slide. So let's test it out. Yes, everything is working as expected. And in the same way, we can add mouse over actions to all of those ghosts, and we can link them to slide number 2, which is game over slide. So if we would touch any of those ghosts, we should lose, so let's test it out. Yep, looks like everything is working just fine. Alright, and now let me show you how you can make your ghosts move along the map. So for example, let's just select this red ghost, okay, let's zoom in a little bit. And now let's go to animations and let's look for custom motion path animation. Let's expand that animation menu, let's go to motion paths and let's choose custom motion path. Let's click once to start drawing the motion path. You can hold down the shift key to keep on drawing these straight lines. And click as many times as you wish. Try to go in the middle, you know, between the walls. And once you finish, double click and you should get your custom motion path. Now let's make sure that this animation starts with previous, which means that this animation will play automatically once the slide loads, and for the duration you can choose any duration that you wish. The longer the duration, the slower your ghost will move around, and I have removed smooth start, smooth end, I have made sure that this animation auto reverses, and that it repeats until the end of slide. So now this red ghost should follow our custom motion path, and then it should reach the final point, bounce back, and then come back to the starting point, and then just keep on repeating the same motion path. Alright, and following the same steps, you can add motion paths to the rest of your game characters. You can make your motion paths as complex and as difficult as you want. As well, you can change the animation duration, the shorter the duration, the faster those and ghosts will be moving along the map. Okay, next let me show you how you can make those dots clickable, because we have to click and collect all of those dots to rescue the Pac-Man. So first of all, let's make sure that we select the dot, and let's make sure that we know the name of this dot, and we can go to selection pane and check the name of this shape, and I have named this shape dot, okay. And now let's go to animations, and let's choose any exit animation that we wish, for example, zoom, and now in the animation pane, as you can see, we have this animation, this zoom animation that is applied to this little dot. Okay? And now let's make sure that this animation is triggered only when we click on the dot itself. Okay? 
and this is the magic hat. The dot will disappear only then when we will click on it, okay? So let's check it out. Once we click on the dot, it disappears. Nice. Let's add a few more dots and let's see if everything is still working. Beautiful, everything is working. And make sure that you add animation to your first dot, and once you will be duplicating that first dot, the rest of the dots will have animations as well. And now let me show you how we can animate the lock or the laser. And before that, let's just jump into the selection pane and let's check the name of this lock. So it's just named lock and the dot is dot. That's beautiful. Now let's make sure that the lock is selected and let's go to animations and let's choose one of those exit animations, for example, random bars. And we can jump into the animation pane and let's give it a preview. This is how the random bars exit animation looks like. Okay. And now let's make sure that this random bar animation is triggered when we click on the dot. Okay. And now let's make sure that the dot itself is selected and let's add an exit animation to this dot as well as, for example, zoom exit animation. And now, once we click on a dot, two animations will happen. The dot will disappear and at the same time, the lock will disappear as well. So let's check it out. Nice. And now let's make sure that we select the dot, hold down the shift key, select the lock, and let's make a couple of duplicates. We can hold down the control shift key to do some duplicates, okay? You can move your dots wherever you want on the map, but for the locks, let's make sure that all of these locks are sitting in the same position. So let's just align them to the bottom. Now all of these locks are sitting on top of each other, okay? This is what we want. So now the laser will be deactivated only then when we will collect all of the dots. Impressive. Okay, so now let's look at the win animation. So once the laser is deactivated, we can get to the Pac-Man. We can click on the sad face and we can make him happy. So let me show you how we can make that. Once again, you can jump into the selection pane and check the names of your illustrations and your shapes. So we have a sad Pac-Man and a happy Pac-Man. So let's make sure that the happy Pac-Man is selected. Let's go to animations and let's choose any entrance animation that we wish, for example, zoom. Now let's make sure that the zoom animation is triggered when we click on the sad uh, Pac-Man. Because once the laser will be deactivated, we will get to the sad uh, Pac-Man, we will click on him, and then the happy Pac-Man should appear, okay? And at the same time, let's make sure that this sad uh, Pac-Man disappears when we click on him, okay? So two animations should happen when we click on the sad Pac-Man, and the sad Pac-Man should disappear, and the happy Pac-Man should appear, okay? So first of all, we deactivate the laser so that we can get to the Pac-Man, okay, we look at him, and hooray, now he's happy. And now additionally, we can add a custom motion path to this happy Pac-Man as well, so that he can navigate out of this uh, map. And now let's make sure that this custom motion path is triggered once we click on the sad Pac-Man, okay. Let's just make sure it happens after previous, so after the sad Pac-Man disappears, and after the happy Pac-Man appears, after that we will get that uh, custom motion path. Nice. Alright, and these are pretty much all of the secrets that you need to know to create this kind of game in PowerPoint. A few more additional settings that I applied to this presentation. So first of all, this uh, presentation is set to play in kiosk mode, which means that all random mouse clicks and random keyboard clicks are disabled, and you can navigate and play this game only by clicking on animation triggers, hyperlinks, or mouse over actions. And if you'd like to change the difficulty of the game, you can always jump into the selection pane and hide some of those ghosts, okay? It's much easier to play with two ghosts instead of four. And you can as well jump into the animation pane and you can increase the duration of those uh, custom motion paths. This way those ghosts will be traveling at much slower speed, okay? Alright my dear time travelers, now you know how you can create this Pac-Man game in PowerPoint. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. And once again, this game is absolutely free to download, all of the information is in the video description. And now let me play this game a few more times, and let me know in the comment section below how much time it took you to win this game. Good luck and have fun!